One of the most customizable addition of HyperOS is what we have right now available and it's available for many Xiaomi devices actually. This is the latest update of this Elite Room or you can say Elite Xiaomi Elite or Hyper Elite Room Plus version. It is having a lot of features, a lot of customizations which you are definitely going to love. With this new update, we have some changes so which we will talk about in this video. Stay tuned. First of all, one of the most interesting thing is regarding this home screen layout and unfortunately this thing was not available in some of the previous updates and it's now finally good it's finally fine and also the ios recent panel is still there i'm using mi 11x which actually does not have this blur wallpaper option by default available if you use hyper os but the good thing is after installing this thing i'm able to unlock it this is available by default so you'll be able to use it on your device also it supports all the app vault widgets all the chinese widgets so that is also quite good all these widgets are working perfectly fine if you're able to notice all these widgets are already unlocked you can use any of these chinese widgets sometimes in some of the modular editions if you have ever noticed app vault widgets are unlocked but it's not easy to find them all and it's not easy to apply them directly on a device if you move on to some customizations and features available in this edition, we have a lot of options available. With this new update, we have some extra Wi-Fi icon styles available. So almost looking like almost all the AOSP style custom rooms, many AOSP based custom rooms have these sort of icons available and all these things are present in this case too. Similar to Wi-Fi icons, we also have similar options with signal icons too. Including all these things, we also have the option to customize or option to resize the status bar. If you're not satisfied with the status bar height, you can resize it. You can you can change the margin from top to left or left to bottom, etc. etc. Many things are available here for you. Even you can further customize the status bar clock. So you can change the digits animation. It's totally up to you if you want to do something else. Unfortunately, it is missing few of the features which Iconify has, but that is different thing that is related to AOSP. So not going to talk about much about it. We also have some tweaks related to net speed indicator also. If we take a look at the other options, as you just saw signal icons, Wi-Fi icons, but we also have the option for Volte and Wo Wi-Fi icon customizations too, which you usually get in some of the AOSP based custom rooms. So that is quite good. Some other options brings you me account menu at top and also force 120 hertz in games, screenshot in any app, expand the top notification, also have the option to change the theme server by default. You can choose India, China. So if you need some Chinese themes, you can get them very easily. It also has that import option present. Another thing, if you're looking forward to play integrity, we have all other spoofing options already available. Like some of the additions or some of the custom rooms are actually dropping the support of play integrity or maybe they are giving you that key box option. But in this case, it is already available from some time. So no issues with the play integrity thing. One thing keep in mind, in my case, I'm using Mi 11X, which is which was actually not the device with Android 13 or plus Android 13, Android 14, Android 15. It was based with Android 12 as far as I know. So it's not possible to pass strong integrity in this case, but these two ticks are completely fine. Maybe with other devices or maybe other Poco F5 or so on, you will see strong integrity. And of course, the bootloader, spo bootloader spoofing is already here. This also brings you the AI writing, AI writer in notes app. So you can use it in case you want to. And as actually I was not expecting it, but it is working perfectly fine. No issues in this case. If you're able to notice, click on AI. You have many prompts available. Some of the prompts are already available as an example, but you can give it your own prompt, of course, and you can try it out on a device. This is having a lot of customizations and features. And at the last, in case you're not aware of this one, this is a paid edition of this room. I'm using it already from some time on my Mi 11X and Poco F5 and so on. So if you want to buy it, you can. But if you want to choose the free version, the good thing about this custom room is it also has the support for the free version too. If you're not satisfied, if you do not want to spend, you can simply choose the free version, the light edition. You can choose that in case you want to. But if you need more customizations, then you can try it out. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. We'll see you in the next one.